Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Bob Polinsky, Master of Wine. Today's topic is around one of the most critical points in producing a sound bottle of wine. I'm talking about the time of bottling. For this video, I visited the Ancient Lakes Wine Company, which is located in the small town of Quincy, Washington. It's part of the Ancient Lakes AVA, which is part of the Greater Columbia Valley. Now, the entire process in this bottling hall is highly mechanized. There are several quality control points along the way to make sure that the quality level is maintained. But I've got to say, it is extremely loud in that bottling hall. I'm talking like ACDC concert loud. Also wanted to say a quick thank you to the good people at Ancient Lakes Wine Company for giving me access to the bottling hall, spending the day with me, answering a lot of questions. It's most appreciated. A year's worth of work has been invested leading up to bottling. 12 months prior, the vines were pruned. Then the growing season played out. Then it was harvest, the wine was made, along with blending, fining, filtration, cold stabilizing, all before bottling. Like a chain, it's only as strong as its weakest link. The empty bottles enter the closed monoblock or closed chamber. The inside of the bottles are washed with filtered water to remove the dust or debris. Then they're sparked with nitrogen to displace the oxygen before filling. The vital consideration here is to eliminate microbial spoilage risk and the exposure to oxygen. A sensor monitors the fill level to ensure consistency. Within a few seconds of being filled, each bottle gets a screw cap. It's a bit hypnotic to watch. Screw caps are stored in a protective bin as they are fed into the bottling line to ensure that no foreign material is introduced. At this point, the screw caps are torqued down and the bottles are sealed. Now we're moving to the next phase. The bottled and sealed wines are ready to leave the monoblock chamber. The bottles are now ready to be labeled. Notice that all the metal parts are stainless steel for corrosion resistance and ease of cleaning. The whole process is very Willy Wonka-like. At this point, one of the quality control checkpoints kicks out a short-filled bottle of wine before it's headed off to be labeled. The bottles are now collected in a staging area just before being labeled. Unfortunately, I couldn't video the actual labeling. The labels are on giant spools, which are quickly and evenly placed on each bottle. The now bottled, closured, and labeled wine is ready to be packed in the cardboard cases. The bottles are grouped into dozens, three by four across, as they're ready to be dropped into each individual box. To give you an idea of the speed of this line from start to finish, from the time a bottle is set on as an empty bottle to the point that it's actually finished and in a box is very quick. This line can handle 20 standard 12 bottle cases per minute. This is another angle of that same process. I got a little too close to one of the sensors and it shut the machine down. Finally, each case is weighed to make sure that it falls within an accepted level of tolerance, to make sure there's no short fills or missing bottles. An amazing piece of machinery. Think about this the next time you open a bottle. Thank you so much for staying to the end of this video. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so as it very much does help this channel. Until next time, I'll be somewhere out in the wine world. Cheers.